addressing the gentleman using the iPad. You need to unmute your device. And if you would please give me your name so that I can so so that I know who I'm talking to. You send him a note telling him. Okay. He needs to identify himself. Let me see. Oh, I'm Yep. I need him. I didn't even hear him. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, okay. Can you, I'm deaf. Sir. Can you please tell I'm me what deaf. your name is? My statement's simple. I saw the officer at the light. There was no phone in the hand while it was in motion. Okay, Fully aware that hold he was on. sitting to profile someone and pick a target out right at the light. The cop is lying, okay? We're not stupid. All right. You got you got people at the first of the month trying to get their quota done for the month. Cop lied. They always stayed there behind in the alley behind Burger King. He was there for 30 Sir? seconds or longer, and I saw him, okay? He was lying through his teeth. Bottom line, he was looking for a target, trying to figure out who suspended and whatnot. I didn't even know I was suspended. I was on my way to the store to get coffee. You said it about okay? the There was no cell phone in my hand. What he may have saw was the phone slip. The seat, when I come to a stop, the phone slid off the seat. I picked it up, put it in between my legs while we were stopped. And I saw him behind Burger King, okay? He was staging there for 30 seconds or longer before the light even turned green. Okay, I watched him. Watching him run, looking at people's plates, okay? I wasn't trying to get pulled over, you know? I'm not stupid, and I'm aware of the cell phone law, okay? The phone was in my lap. It was not in my hand while a car was moving, that's a fact. And I saw him, okay? I rolled right by him, saw him, he saw me, and I knew he was going to pull me over. I made a right turn right just past that alleyway, made the right turn, and that's when he hit the light. He had the choice then to pull me over right there on the spot for whatever it is he wants or let me go. He chose to pull me over over a cell phone excuse, and that's not true because I saw him. Okay, I saw him. Do you think I want to get pulled over? I have to rack up more fines because I can't pay off those fines. I haven't had a license since 1986 because of a fine. Fine income inequality exists. And people are not paying for their stupidity and the, and the license kept in a perpetual state of suspension over the course of all those years since 1980 when I've actually had a license. I was on the assumption that under uh, the idea that uh, my license was reinstated, I was supposed to go down and pay for the reinstatement. I didn't know about the blow and go being on there 18 years past the statute of limitation, okay, which is a problem in this community. What you've done is created uh, and a law enforcement network that goes out on the first of the month, gets their quota, and then people just get trapped into a state of debt to the county, which is sub- You know, I saw the cop there. I wasn't trying to get pulled over. Well, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna have a cell phone in my hand and drive by this police officer knowing full well he's gonna pull me over, right? Is that right? Am I a liar? I don't like being accused of being a liar because, you know, just because you wear a badge doesn't make that mean that you're being honest. Okay? I got a record. Most cops in this okay. town know who I am. And look. Okay. 
Okay. I, I want you to send Mr. Cook a note telling him that he was late for the docket. Our interpreter was here at 10 o'clock when he was supposed to be here. And then we will continue this to November 22nd. I'll take a polygraph check with. Okay, um, when do you want to reset it? November 22nd at uh, 10 o'clock. Is that enough time to get a notice out, or do you want to go to the 29th? We can go to the 20th. Okay. I mean, I can send the notice today, so it's up to you. But we can Okay, we'll do the 29th. Okay. Okay. Bring the interpreter in. Uh, going back to Mr. Cook, just for clarification, Mr. Cook is uh, uh, hearing disabled. Our American Sign interpreter was here at 10 o'clock. He was not present. People against uh, Carlos James Kevin Maggard, 22W705546FY. Mr. Maggard, your name again? Carlos Maggard. Council, Mr. Brand. Uh, good, um, good afternoon, Your Honor. Arthur Brand appearing also on behalf of Mr. Maggard uh, at this, at least at this point. And it, it's Attorney yeah. Daniel Mercy representing Mr. Maggard as well. I was appointed to this case and I wanted to put my name on the record. And uh, I did receive notification from fellow counsel, Mr. Arthur Brand. I discussed within this case and the fact that I have yet to receive discovery on the matter. And I believe that he's going to be uh, substituting in, and I would be withdrawing today, Your Honor. And uh, All right, let's let's him. let's slow it down for one second here. Where is Mr. Uh, who's the prosecutor on this case? APA Lindsay Calhoun. I'm trying to locate her right now. See now, this is just like really. We're supposed to like Zoom. I get it, but where's the lawyer at? I mean, do I got to really hunt for lawyers now? They're going to make me do that too. Where's she at? Why is she not here? I don't know, Judge. I spoke to her this morning about it and she was aware. Where's she Detective says, Rockner? According to Ms. Calhoun, she's in the waiting room, Judge. Is somebody getting a hold of her? Judge, I, I sent her the meeting ID again since Lisa said that she didn't see her in the waiting room. So I'm going to see if she can log out and log back in. You are going to be representing Mr. Maggard, correct, Mr. Brand? That's correct, Judge. Okay, so, I mean, you've been retained because you said something when you first came in, like at this point, it just sent a red flag. I just want to make sure I didn't quite understand you correctly. You will be representing him, right? I said yes, and I said that because uh, Mr. Mercer, in my mind, had not yet as, as yet withdrawn. All right, so Mr. Mercer, I'm going to allow you to withdraw. I'll just indicate Mr. Mercer allowed to withdraw. Mr. Brand retained to represent defendant, okay? Very good, Your Honor. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that gets on the register of actions where Wayne County billing will get all over my case. So. I, I wrote it all over here. And I'm going to see Mr. Mercer allowed to withdraw. Mr. Brand retained to represent defendant. 
Now, they might have a problem reading my writing, but I am writing it down to the best of my ability. And I will, in fact, highlight that for you. I understand, Mr. Mercer. I appreciate your honor. I also appre uh, appreciate fellow council, uh, Mr. Brand, understanding it as well. Thank you. You're all set, Mr. Uh, Mercer. Thank you very much. And I need the prosecutor in here and I need Detective Ruffner in here. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm here. So, so, okay, Ms. Calhoun, good afternoon. Your name? Lindsay Calhoun on behalf of the people, P70869. All right, so Detective Ruffner uh, has your name, sir. Detective Sergeant Admiral for William I'm not picking you up very well. Could you get closer? Why doesn't the pro why doesn't the defense have their discovery yet, Ms. Calhoun? Your Honor, the discovery was sent to Daniel Mercer, but um, the people would like Please. to make a motion to dismiss this case without prejudice. Okay. All right. So, well, I mean, that's not only press. I'm just curious, and the reason for that is. Uh, no reason, Your Honor. You have no reason? It's in the best interest of justice, Your Honor, to dismiss this case. Okay, well, that's fair. I'm all for justice occurring. I'm just curious. You had, we, the signing on record was done. I didn't sign this warrant. I would not have signed this warrant. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Anything else, Ms. Calhoun? No, Your Honor. Anything else, Mr. Brand? Uh, I'm speechless, Judge. I, I, it couldn't have been me. Oh, I'm speechless too because I did the signing on record, and I don't, I don't authorize warrants unless there's sufficient evidence. And the detective obviously thought he had evidence, and I thought that based on what I heard, I don't remember this one specifically. I wouldn't have authorized it, but hey, you can't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? So this will be the easiest case you've ever handled. The prosecutor's motion to dismiss is granted without prejudice. We're gonna take all the bond conditions out, Lisa, and you are all set. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Judge, may, may I ask you a question? Sure. You may remember that you bound my client over on an assault with intent to, to do great bodily harm uh, a week or two ago. And I'm wondering if uh, the fact that you have dismissed this case means that he can have contact with his son now. No, 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 no. I don't remember that and I can't, I can't, I don't remember binding him over on another case. You know, we get these names and people and I don't know. So I can't go back. If I bound him over, you're going to have to go to the circuit judge. I lost jurisdiction when I signed the bind over certificate. I'm just taking the bond conditions out in terms of this case. Okay, so judge. If there's a, if there's a no contact that was on both cases, then uh, it was definitely with a no contact. I just don't know if it included the it son. Was, it was. I have on sir, here. Sir, Evelyn, no. I have on here no contact with Evelyn or Carlos Maggard on this one. No contact with prosecution witnesses not to enter Middlesex and Woodhaven. Uh, not to be within five miles of Carlos Maggard, his residence or place of employment. And uh, I also ordered tether conditions. I, I cited uh, the same tether conditions on 22W708770 apply to this case. So I must ordered a GPS tether on that case. And I was saying that they applied to this one as well. Okay, Judge. So, but that doesn't mean, uh, you know, that those bond conditions are lifted on the other case. So you'll have to talk to the circuit judge if you're representing on that case or else have whoever's court appointed to bring that up. Okay. Thank you, judge. 